A dad just doing his job is the latest victim of a police chase in the city of Milwaukee. Ricardo Rios Torres was badly hurt last night by a driver police were chasing on the city's south side. Jenna Ray talks with the family for an update on his condition. It's a story you'll see only on TMJ4. He's working, he was doing his job, he didn't came back home. That's the story they want to talk. Angelica didn't want to go on camera, but she's speaking to me on behalf of her father, Ricardo Rios Torres, who was severely injured in Tuesday's police pursuit and crash at Mitchell and Muskego. Ricardo Rios Torres drives this stretch of Mitchell every single day. On Tuesday, he was headed to get materials for work when a car being chased by police ran through this intersection behind me and hit him. After not hearing from her dad for more than an hour, family was getting concerned. Doctors call us saying that he was in a horrible car accident. Surveillance video obtained by TMJ4 shows a car being chased by Milwaukee police, fly through a red light, hit Ricardo's car, and then crash into another squad. It's horrible how something can happen just in seconds and minutes and not even realizing it happened. Family says Ricardo has several broken ribs, inflammation and blood in his lungs, stitches and bruises covering his body and is undergoing surgery soon. What's been your experience with that intersection? Horrible. Car crashes every, every single time, every single week. The different amounts of uh, crashes that have been happening lately have definitely seen an increase. Um, speeding has always been an issue. Elizabeth Ramirez is with Muskego Way Forward, a group that helps neighbors get connected with resources. We found her talking with business owners about Tuesday's crash. We've seen more um, people from the neighborhood coming together to just talk to their other people. I think they expect more from city officials. More from city officials and more explanation from police who are starting these chases. We often wonder like how that work is being done. We just want answers. On Milwaukee's south side, Jenna Ray, TMG4 News. This latest crash raising concerns about safety at the intersection of Muskego and Mitchell as well. Data shows in the last 14 months we've had eight crashes at that intersection and includes last night's incident. And it's the second time in three days an innocent driver has been the victim of a Milwaukee police chase. You might remember on Sunday, a driver speeding from a traffic stop slammed into a vehicle at 20th and Burleigh. 30-year-old Amari Smith was killed that time.